how should one prepare for uh, IMS? What should be the thought process around it? The most important is start following it to whatever level you can do from day one. There are two ways to doing it. First, just kind of do accept reject or keep it pending. Or if you are not clear about it, keep it on pending the invoices. And, and that is going to have a direct impact in terms of cash flow. But we will have to trigger our systems in a manner by which we are able to take care of it and not allow it to impact the cash flow. So that is point number one. Point number two, the IMS system has to be integrated with the reconciliation uh, system itself. It cannot not be stand standalone. It has to be integrated with the reconciliation. It has to be integrated with the payment block. And if we are not integrating with both of them, it is going to be a challenge in terms of how functionally the IMS will work. Otherwise, it's going to be a static activity which may reflect your true position or it may not even reflect your true position. So that is why it's critical. Integrate it with your system. It will take some time. Start from today. At least you are at 80%, 90% of where you should be. And then you will reach 100% maybe in a couple of months time. But putting it on a side and not starting it is not even an option that I would recommend anybody to have. Absolutely, absolutely. Makes sense. In fact, uh, one suggestion from my side also based on whatever discussions we have had with the industry is don't uh, be in a hurry to uh, reject any invoice and as also pointed out, don't also go through the path of the auto acceptance. Whenever in doubt, keep the invoices pending and whenever uh, you are able to uh, match your invoices, then, on, then go through the acceptance part. But use the reject option very cautiously, otherwise it's going to uh, create a havoc on the, the way you ITC, with the way you take your ITC. And and, and that, one, that, yes, sir. Yeah, Tapas, and one particular recommendation to the industry, I would definitely say this don't reject credit notes of your supplier without having consultation with them. That is extremely important. And at Signet, we have built a kind of a communication module uh, along with the suppliers. So that a buyer and a supplier also can have a conversation with the notification module. So that in case you are taking any action uh, of rejecting any invoice or rejecting any credit card, at least you intimate the other person in advance of the same and not do so moto around it. So this two-way communication is very important. And over a period of time, it will take to much better accounting practices across the industry. Yes, 